Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to discuss how to set up a keyboard switch group in the FA Series Workstation. So the ability of setting up a keyboard switch group is available in all current FAs. That's the FA06, the FA07, and the FA08. Just make sure you have version 2.0 operating system. In previous videos, we demonstrated how to create layers and splits within a studio set for live performance. Now, what would happen if, if I had to use multiple layers and splits within the same song? Uh, a lot of times I would have to set up uh, different studio sets per layer and split, depending on how big they, they got. So that what would happen is that became very difficult. And so now with the keyboard switch group, we can have multiple layers and splits set up within the studio set so you can utilize all 16 parts that are within a studio set. Let's begin by looking inside uh, the studio sets. I'm going to choose a user initialized studio set in here and I'm going to go ahead and press the studio button split and dual simultaneously so I can see all of the parts within that studio set. So let's begin by choosing sounds that are common uh, for live gigs inside the studio set. So let's go ahead and we'll choose a full grand piano and then I'm going to choose a nice electric piano. And now let's go ahead and choose uh, maybe uh, some kind of string. Now let's go ahead and choose uh, maybe a pad. And we can, or we can use, a, let's see, let's go inside. And that's fine. We'll use that JPH string, uh, number 12. Okay, great. And now let's choose something entirely different that wouldn't necessarily go. We're gonna choose uh, maybe some kind of synth in here. So I'll go inside here and we'll choose some kind of sign a synth poly key. And that's good. And now we'll go down and choose maybe some kind of horn uh, next, some kind of brass. So I'll go ahead and have this. That's fine, let's just choose this one. Now before, if I wanted to create a layer and split, uh, or let's, in this case, a layer, and I wanted to have uh, all of these layered, I would have to maybe take that first section, the full grand 76 and uh, strings and the JPH strings, and I'd have them as their own separate layer. Uh, but now, let's go ahead, and I, I added these other ones, uh, and I would have to have the saw keys and the trumpet and sax in a whole other studio set possibly. It was a little bit difficult. So now I went ahead and I have them in here. Now we're gonna use pad utility and I'm gonna go to pad mode and I'm gonna uh, select number eight which is keyboard switch group. So check this out, it's on there, nothing happened. Here's where the magic happens. Now that I selected it here, go to pad utility again and you see we have 16 different groups. And so here's what we're gonna do. So you see number group one uh, corresponds to uh, part one, two to two, three to three, four to four, that's fine. Let's go ahead and select number one and now we can edit it. So it's like, well, what parts do you wanna have on within number one? Well, remember number one was uh, piano, two was EP, then we got a string and then we have the JP. So let's go ahead and put uh, number one and number three. So great, we have that, let's exit. And you see it corresponds right there. Let's go into number two now, and let's add edit. And two is already selected. Let's put number two and number four. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and exit. Now number three, let's go ahead and edit. And now let's put number two, three is already on, and number four together. Okay, great, let's exit. And now number five, we'll do this one. And we'll go ahead and say, edit again. Now remember, we chose one, two, threes, and four. Those parts kind of all go together, and that sounds great. Now number five and number six, let's put that saw with the lead, and or with the horns, and have those. So that's already on, and I can turn it off, actually. On, and have that, great. Now let's exit. Now in number six, let's go ahead and edit. And this time, I only wanna use number three and number four. So I'm gonna turn off number six, and I'm gonna say turn on number three and number four. So we'll have strings entirely alone, okay? So now I'll exit, and before I do anything else, well, let's go ahead and just, let's see what happens. So number one, let's take a listen. We have the piano and the string. Number two, 
Now that has the electric piano and the JP strings, number three should have EP strings and JP. Pretty cool. Now number four should have, uh, looks like alone, it should just have that JP string. Now number five, group five, should have uh, the poly saw kind of thing and the horns. Good. And number six should have both of the strings, uh, the acoustic strings and the JP strings together. Pretty cool. We were able to have multiple layers within the same studio set and choose them. And we didn't even go into everything yet. Let's do one more. Let's go ahead and have uh, number, let's, number 13. Let's totally change it up. We're going to go into edit and I don't want 13. I have nothing on right there. Uh, I can go in and say, you know, one, two, three, and four. So we're going to put the piano, the strings, uh, the electric piano, and the Jupiter uh, strings. And let's exit. And so now we look Number 13 has four. So very, very big sound. Now let's go ahead and press the right button and we're gonna write that as a studio set and I'll go ahead and select and we're gonna choose where we're gonna put it and let's put it in number, number 10, that's fine. Oops, let's cancel, I forgot to name it. So let's go ahead and, and call this our, uh, let's see, let's call it our, our church studio. So maybe you would use this in church. And, and I'm just kind of kind of trying some stuff. So let's go ahead and there we go. Get this named for you. Remember when I am naming, I can go into here and if I press the cursor down, it takes it to lowercase. So very quickly we can adjust in there. So I have that, and let's insert, put the H, great, and now OK, and let's write it. Yes, I am sure. So now very quickly, if, if you're playing a gig, and let's go ahead and exit, there it is. I'll go to 11, go back here. It should, just, notice that the keyboard switches are all completely on for the sounds that we use. And don't forget, we still have other ones in here. Oh wait, it didn't, didn't turn those on, but let's see what happens. Okay, great, it's there. I'll go to pad utility. We, it, the, it went ahead and the studio set saved uh, the keyboard switch group. And so all I gotta do is press pad utility and there they are. And there we go. Great, and so you see, we're just going right through the sounds, how we set them up. Now this is both strings. Great, and remember number 13 was uh, both uh, acoustic piano, electric piano, and both of the strings. So right, right in there. Very, very quick and very easy. So this is just a basic intro into keyboard switch groups. And in this example, we use layers. In the next video, we're gonna go ahead and explore even deeper and talk about uh, splits, having different splits and layers in there simultaneously. All right, you guys take care, try this at the house, and we'll talk to you later.